Hello out there in YouTube land, welcome to the OK Good Review channel. So today we are going to be looking at this, which is my Onkyo DXC390 CD changer. Now, I've had this a really long time. Uh, you can see it's taken some damage. This, uh, this happened when our star was a little boy and uh, he got closer, too close anyway. <laughs> to the uh, panel before I could get to him and uh, knocked out my one and two disc buttons here. We might try to see if we can't fix these while we're getting into this. Uh, right now I have to do it through the remote. But uh, long story short here, what has been going on with this thing is that it has been having trouble on and off reading discs for a while. It actually had uh, for probably a couple days prior to the shooting this video, it actually had held my last collection of CDs in their hostage. So my suspicion is that this thing might need to be cleaned out a little bit. So I think we're going to, I've never done it. And this unit is from, uh, let's see if we can find the stamp on it. Okay, so this is back from January 2007. Right now, as I shoot this is 2022. So this is a 15 year old unit. And I've gone through a couple other console CD players, but these things are very difficult to get now. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to open this up and see if we can't have a look, see at what is going on in here. Uh, I think it might be a drive belt, but I'm not 100% sure. What's going on is that lately we have started to see it. It will play. It'll play CDs for a while and then just abruptly stop, like right in the middle of it. And then it'll that'll freeze the entire machine when that happens. So uh, we're gonna put our screws over here in the can. Maybe we aren't gonna put them in the case. I should have got a dish. Well, we'll put them over there for now. All right, so we're gonna take these outer ones of the case off here. And it looks like we've got two on each side. Do this one next. Now, when I first got this, this actually had a really substantial problem with it, and I had to take it to a repair shop. And I don't know what they replaced on it. They replaced a lot of stuff. That was within a year of me getting it, because uh, that that repair was still under warranty. But I don't feel like dragging this to a repair shop just yet. Let's see if it's something I can't just get in there and clean out a little bit myself. I use this for a shelf. I use this for all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can see it's a little battered, but it's been it's been it's been a pretty good unit. Uh, and once I got all the all the kinks worked out of it, okay. So I should just cut myself popping this off. Okay. All right. Let's put that off to the side. And uh, see if we can figure out what is going on in here. All right. So I don't see any great amount of dust or anything in here. I also don't see a way we can fix this panel, unfortunately. Let's go over to... Uh, here, take a look at it. All right, I gotta try to find a flashlight because I can't see in there. I think it's under this. This should be the thing that lifts and spins the disc, I believe. But I don't see the drive build for it, so maybe it's snapped possibly. I don't know, we'll have to take a look here and see what's going on. We'll grab a flashlight, we'll be right back. Okay. Oh, no. So 
it must be underneath this somehow. Yeah, there's the, that's the carriage. So the CD is, I mean, you can see this is a really dirty tray, so I need to probably actually uh, blow this out anyway. So let's do that real quick. Oops, I want my straw. I, I've never actually cleaned this. That shouldn't be a thing I actually need to do. But maybe it is. So I don't know how this, I don't know how this is all orchestrated here. So this is um that is in the way. But you can see there's this gap here, so I should theoretically be able to actually take the carousel part out of this. See if we can take a look at it. Maybe. Alright. So this should this should should just come right out. So we got this section in the way now. Hmm. You know, now the question gets to be how much further do I want to get into this? So let's we're gonna put this back on for now. There is a manual for this online, which I think I might. avail myself of. That one I don't want to have super tight. So it's not, I mean, it's, I don't think there's a dirty lens problem because it's not, I mean, it plays fine when it actually will play. Possibly there's, I got some insect gun in here or something though as well. Let me just see here. So there's a bunch of screws on the bottom that I could take off to take this part off, which I don't know if I'm going to do though, depending on where all those wires go. Let's see what else we can look at here. This is not plugged in. Okay, so there's a circuit board under there. Means the motor's probably under there. I can just take, push the whole tray out. The tray's stuck on something. I see a belt. Okay, so I'm gonna consult the manual and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, so we put power back to this. There's not actually a belt on there. I thought there might've been a belt, but there isn't. It's all gears. So let's uh, put power back to it. So let's turn back on again. You can see, we got movement over there. It's checking. Check. Right now it's going through and checking the discs to see if there's any discs in it. There's not. So let's eject this. And we can see now we can get a good look at what's going on over there. So underneath there is the laser. Let's see if we can take a look at the laser. Is that uh boy can we even get to that? Let's see. You see it right there? That is the oop, that is the laser. Try it again. Right there, that thing right there. Let's see if we can close it on a little bit. Anyway, there's the laser. I'm not seeing it look particularly dirty though. Let's get some light in there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing that being crazy dirty, but like there really shouldn't be any reason for it to be, but. We'll try to We'll try to blow a little air past it. See if that helps anything. So there is one other thing that we can do for this, and we're gonna do that right now.
and that is to do what's called a reset. So we hold standby and we hold stop for 10 seconds. So let's do that. All right, that didn't seem to do anything. So let's uh, do it again. So I don't know if we're supposed to do that when we turn off or exactly how that goes, but uh, you can throw in a, there's nothing connected to this, so let's throw in a, throw in a disc, play it. All right, you can see the disc spinning over there. We won't have sound because I don't actually have this hooked up to anything. You can see there's a slight wobble to it though. I don't know if that's going to matter or not. This is the last CD it played, uh, by the way, too, before it stopped working. And it got a good ways in there before it just quit. So we can skip, see it sounds fine, moving positions. Picks up right away with the new track. What's interesting is it looks like it, it there's it, it almost looks like it's slowing down in parts. So my I'm wondering too if there's some overheating going on here. There's your stop. So, I mean, it looks smooth. I don't see any issue with the operation here. So, I'm going to check one more time to see if there is, if the power needs to be on for the reset part. But, I mean, it, it tracks, like, it, it's hard to see where there's any issue at all with tracking because it's, it's picking up almost exactly. So, Maybe this will just be a look inside while I clean up some of the stuff. I don't know. But uh, anyway, that was the look inside of the Onkyo DXC390. And if we do have to replace a the motor, then that will be in an upcoming video. But uh, for now, we're going to leave this one. So if you guys did enjoy this look, please give us the old thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. If there is a blue notification button, and comments available, and you would care to do that, please feel free to uh, avail yourself of those, whether or not, please can follow us on our Twitter feed, or updates to the channel, I made by myself when they happen. And, of course, you can find Twitter-specific content, such as display shots of our normal toy content. These project videos are just videos I do for my own interest, and because I kind of think they're fun, so... Normally, it's we, we do more toy stuff, of course, but there's I mean, there's quite a bit of variety as well. So check it out uh, and you can see, but you can only see the display shots on Twitter. So if you use Twitter, come follow us there. We'd love to have you. But that is going to do it for, it's going to wrap it up for our look at this Onkyo DXC390 6 CD changer. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.